In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can create an entire month's worth of content in just one hour. Yeah, you heard that right. And if you're going to include editing time, it's going to be around an hour and a half because I'm going to be sharing with you how to do this in a really, really simple way. Now, first, I do just quickly need to go over YouTube versus podcast because I think this is going to be really important and it's going to encourage you to overcome some mental roadblocks that may be holding you back from doing this right now okay cheers some people prefer to watch youtube videos and others prefer to listen to podcasts now i'm the type of person who thinks that each one has its own time and place impact school is the name of my business but it didn't start that way i actually started a podcast and called it impact school and then from that i then realized that that would be a great name for my business and so i just found that kind of interesting and i don't think anyone actually knows that or has figured that out yet so you're the insiders here but I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of YouTube versus podcast, both for the consumer and for the content creator. And there's a crazy fact, which is around 75% of people who listen to podcasts make over a hundred grand per year. And so they always say you're the, the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And so I found that statistic pretty interesting because it's definitely nothing like that here on YouTube. Maybe LinkedIn, but YouTube, no. But anyway, so first off, I'm interested to hear from you. Before watching this video, which one do you prefer? Drop it down in the comments, YouTube or podcasts, and we'll see how you feel after this video ends. So when it comes to podcasting, it's great as the consumer because people actually tend to go into more depth than they do here on YouTube. But on YouTube, you'll find that with the visual representation, it can be better for things like walkthrough tutorials because you can physically see what's going on. So I think you need to firstly, as the consumer, identify what type of learner are you? Are you someone who learns by listening or are you somebody who's good at learning through visuals? Because when you've understood that, then you'll get a better idea as to whether you're gonna be better listening to podcasts or watching YouTube videos. Personally, I'm very much an audio person. I find that I can learn something just through listening to it. Whereas if I'm reading, I find it really, really hard. Obviously when it's video, there's both of those things, which makes does make things easier to learn. And I also love watching YouTube videos. And two times speed. Some people may not know this, but if you click a little cog, then you can change the speed up to two times speed. And I actually use a Chrome extension that allows me to make any video start playing faster. And I just press a button on my keyboard and it goes up to like, it goes like super duper fast, so fast that you can't even understand what it's saying. I love that because I'm a weirdo. <laughs> and then I also find that through podcasting, because you're often having two people two people have a conversation and i quite like the back and forth dynamic in fact here's a little snippet from the 100th podcast episode whereby i had our head of social media interview me when something happens what's your like focus on solutions and moving forward how do you keep in that mindset <laughs> you're probably laughing to yourself right now because you know the answer because i'm just i'm one of these people who just it just doesn't stop me and I kind of enjoy it in a strange effed up kind of way because at the end of the day I see problems as an opportunity to become a better person a better leader not just a better leader for yourself and for your team but also a better leader for your family and so make sure to go click the link in the description box and subscribe to impact school it's available on any podcast provider 100 free episodes for you to go listen to which will help you grow your online business if you or start one if you don't have one already but anyway so then that's that's kind of like the learning side of things and then when it comes to the creation side of things podcasting is way easier right because you don't have to edit it necessarily you could just talk and talk and talk and people aren't as evil as they are on youtube because they expect it to be more unplanned now i have just started filming some whiteboard videos that are going to be coming to my youtube channel soon so hit subscribe um which are more raw they're more rough around the edges and we'll see how they do i mean i personally enjoy to watch that type of video more which is why i wanted to start testing it here but i think you know when you're listening to a podcast the roughness of it can be quite nice and it's authentic 
And it's just like listening to an audiobook and you really do hear people's thought process because sometimes they kind of correct themselves while they're talking. And I really like that. I really, really like that. And I love the fact that I can just close my screen off because I don't pay for the YouTube thing on my phone, the thing where it turns off the screen. I don't do that. I mean, do you do that? If you do, like comment below. I'm I'm interested to hear why you do that. Um, would, would genuinely love to know. But I, I just like it, how I can just be walking outside, listening to a podcast, getting a bunch of information. And so that means that what ends up happening as the podcast creator, you have someone's undivided attention for like an hour. A lot of podcasts are around 40 minutes to an hour and a half. And so if you have their attention for that much time, how powerful is that? They're really building a relationship with you, which is incredible when it comes to having them become clients. I mean, I find that most of my clients they do come from my podcast more so than YouTube. Oftentimes what ends up happening, and this is a huge bonus, because YouTube is owned by Google, and so YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world, which means that if someone types in how to start an online coaching business, they're pretty likely to find my video. And so they find my video, and then what always ends up happening is they then stumble into my podcast, and then from my podcast, they then take that action to become a client because they really get that value from me there. And so YouTube is so powerful for the SEO purposes, search engine optimization, really, really good for your brand. So I truly believe that both of them have their own place. And that's because you can get new people to find you with your YouTube channel and then you convert them into a customer and a loyal follower using your podcast. And so I truly believe that when it comes to sort of like the future of con creating content, the most powerful thing that you can do is think about it like this, right? If you start off with a long video where you're talking for a long, long, long time, then you can just put that on YouTube and then you can rip the audio and use that as the podcast and just make an intro and an outro for each. So much more simple. And then from that long piece of content, you can then cut out snippets and put that on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. And that changes the game and it makes things so much more easy for you as the creator. I think going video first and not just recording the audio of a podcast is so valuable. And I think people just, if you wanna be putting on all this makeup or guys, if you wanna, well, guys, if you wanna do that, go for it. But if you feel like you need to always look perfect on camera, it is just not the case. I literally don't remember the last time I put on makeup. I get my eyelashes done because otherwise I do look very, very young and people don't take me as seriously, which is interesting. It's just perception there. But like, you know, I'm not gonna dress up to, to be someone I'm not because at the end of the day, I don't do that all the time. When I go to events, sometimes I do, but ultimately it's just like, you just gotta be yourself and realize that getting content out there is better than getting perfect content out there. And I truly believe that perfectionism is just procrastination packaged up all fancy. And so if you're not doing something cause you wanna be perfect and you want it to be as good as possible, you're wasting time. So get the content out there, post it on both. You can make a podcast on anchor.fm. I'll leave a link to the, my podcast episode that explains how to do that. Not sponsored again, this video isn't sponsored by YouTube, like it's not sponsored by Anchor, but it's so powerful and you don't need fancy equipment, right? I have a camera cause I create course content for my clients. I have a microphone. Well, actually I don't even use the microphone anymore for my podcast. I just use my laptop mic. My microphone broke, right? It's just down there on the floor. I'm, I'm not even using it. And so I do obviously have a camera set up. I'll leave that linked in the description. But again, it's not necessary. You don't need all these things. They're not requirements. And so there's a real low barrier to entry now, but that means that there's a lot of competition. And because there's a lot of competition, it means that you need to make sure that your content is quality. And when I say quality, it doesn't mean the visuals and all the graphics and stuff. I mean the actual substance of the content needs to be quality. And so this video here, I just wanted to make it in, you know, commemoration of the 100th podcast episode because so much has changed since then. I used to think that everything needed to be perfect. I used to stress about my content being optimal and all this, but now I've realized that my best clients, they don't care about that. They look past that because they see the content. They see the content for what it is and if it helps them. And so that's the most important thing. And so when it comes to YouTube v podcast, they both have their place. They absolutely both have their place. And I love them both. I think one's good for the top of the funnel, right? So the top of the funnel is essentially people who are sort of like new finding you. They then enter your funnel, right? Your whole buying sequence kind of. And then they start seeing, you know, oh wow, this person has a podcast. 
then as they go down they'll start listening to the podcast and then that will make them become more likely to become a client that's what we find massively and obviously there's loads more to it but i just think that that is kind of what we see and so what you can do if you don't want to put the whole long video on youtube is like well, this is what I do quite a lot is while I'm recording a whole long video that's going to go on the podcast, we'll take the audio and put that on the podcast. I actually, while I'm filming it, turn that into like two small YouTube videos. Um, so I'll record the whole thing and then I'll have like 20 of 10 minutes here and 10 minutes here. And then I'll record an intro and an outro and an intro and an outro. The whole long 40 minute thing goes on the podcast, just the audio. I'll do an intro and an outro for that. But then the, the, the 20 minutes and the 20 minutes or the 10 minutes and 10 minutes, whatever it was. Um, I then put them both on YouTube and you get two for one and then little snippets throughout to go across social, okay? So let's just say each week you're to record for one hour. You can then turn that into six YouTube videos, which is over a month's worth of YouTube videos if you're doing one a week. And so if from each 10 minute video, you're able to get three pieces of micro content, that's 18 pieces of micro content. That's pretty much three weeks worth of content if you're posting every single day. No one posts every single day these days, really. So that's basically if you're posting like four to five times a week, that's a month worth of content there. So that's my content creation strategy. I would again, love to know what do you prefer, YouTube or podcast? Really interested to see that in the description. And so, yeah, I mean, I really hope this video has helped you go check out the 100th podcast episode and hit subscribe the content that's coming from the whiteboard videos is fire so i'll see you there